Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. And this week's vlog will feature my favorite daily supplements and five tips on how I balance being a college student and living a healthy lifestyle, which is very, very complicated. So without further ado, let's tune in and watch this vlog. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. you guys so to start off i want to just mention teeny greens you guys so i've been taking this product for about three weeks now and i really really love this product and the best ways to consume this product is with fruit but if you want to be a basic person and get all them greens without the extra calories just do it by itself add you some ice add you some water and consume it y'all this product has 16 grains in it within 35 calories you get 16 superfood ingredients and i know for a person like me i might eat my broccoli one day or i might eat green beans the next and i might be eat asparagus another day and then some days i don't eat greens at all and everybody know that having your greens and your vegetables are very essential to just being energized being a healthier version of yourself and so that's why i love this product because it helps me keep track of making sure that i'm getting my greens in daily and i usually take this product in the morning and i have seen so many great benefits because sometimes i don't like eating before i go to the gym so i would just do this instead mix with some fruit or sometimes buy itself with the snack and y'all y'all getting y'all 16 servings of greens with one scoop of this powder so with that being said, use my code DONE20 for a percentage off your purchase, and I will post the details below. Get your team of greens. Get them greens in, girl. You know you need them greens. Okay, so the next product is, okay, so y'all are familiar with godly apple cider vinegar gummies, if y'all are usual to my channel. And I pretty much eat these every single day. So with that being said, let me go ahead and get mine in. And this was the very, very first product that Golly came out with. And I've been a fan of Golly since they sent me these. And, oh my God. and one thing, y'all, they're really, really good. So, my first comment on these is you get the benefits of apple cider vinegar without the nasty taste. If you have tried apple cider vinegar by itself raw, that stuff will make you almost feel like you're about to throw up and gag. But with these gummies, it's an amazing taste. And I have noticed that anytime I take these, they always curb my appetite. So, no, it does not help you lose weight, but it aids weight management, which means it curbs your appetite so that you're not eating as much, which will cause you not to overeat. So, let's be clear. In my opinion, these gummies do not help you lose weight, but it helps you manage your weight by curbing your appetite. I just want to make that clear. You get energy. It provides you with energy. It's healthy heart support, healthy immune support, help your digestive system, and so much more, y'all. I love these gummies, and I take them every single day. And I'm not going to advertise nothing that I don't feel like works. And this is it, y'all. I'm going to leave my code below with the link so y'all can go get y'all's today this is a must i'm just being honest y'all this is a must i take this every single day so golly has always had these apple cider vinegar gummies but they have a new girl to the team my girl ashwa and these are the ashwa gunda gummies y'all and i love this because on the on the bottle it says relax restore and unwind and ashwa gunda has been very famous for its medicinal values because it's used to like promote healthy body and healthy mind so by helping you relieves some stress keeps you calm it helps aid like mu uh, muscle recovery like right after you work out healthy heart healthy energy the same benefits but this one instead i take this one after i eat my dinner when it's time for me to feel like i'm gonna wind down and cool down and chill this is what i take so let's just go over it so um ashwagandha is made of the ashwagandha let me read the back so y'all can see Ashwagandha KSM-66 has been clinically proven to help maintain normal cortisol levels to promote a healthy response to everyday stress, hint, 
and to help with memory, cognition, quality of sleep, and more. KSM 66 has the highest concentration of all major full spectrum root extracts available on the market today. Top of the line, baby. You need your golly and you need your ashwagandha. This is the perfect duo, you guys. And I'm not going to false advertise, okay? So, I will post a link for both of these below with my coupon code to get a discount on your purchase. So, get yours today. If you watch this video and you watch it now, go ahead and click the link. Pause the video and come back to it. Click the link and get your gummies today. All right. So, the next one that I have always been taking is Nature's Bonnie's Hair, Skin, and Nails. So, with that being said... Oh, mm. Nature's Bonnie Hair, Skin, and Nail, which is very high in biotin. And, y'all, these good, too. When I say my nails grow like crazy, I always have to cut them down because they grow so fast. Y'all, this gummy is good. Mm, 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 mm. It's really, really good, y'all, but... I always have to clean my nails because they grow so fast. And I always keep braids in my hair because I'm a, I work out all the time. I don't have time for no weed. I don't have time for no weed. So, this really, really helps grow your hair. And, of course, I have my breakouts. But, overall, I really think this helps with my skin. Because if I do break out, I always break out in this area. And as, you, as you'll see in later in this video, I broke out real, real bad. But, it cleared up really, really fast. And if you want the details on my skin routine, I have a video that also I will post it in the details. But yeah, take this every day. So the last two that I want to mention is Love Wellness Bye Bye Blow. So one thing about me is y'all, every time I eat, I literally get so bloated. And if I eat something that's not in my normal routine in the morning, and I don't like that. So I have started taking these Bye Bye Blow um, bloating pills from Love Wellness and y'all, I am not lying. These pills are the truth. And so pretty much like I looked up all the ingredients to see if they had any side effects. I started looking up the ingredients. I'm like, I don't, I, cause I don't need nothing to, you know, but anytime you decide to take things like this, always read the ingredients and always consult with your doctor. I'm not a person, a professional. So I'm only giving y'all what I take. And so basically it says that our powerhouse blend of digestive enzymes and healthy nutrients work together to alleviate occasional bloating, promote digestion, and support healthy weight management. Here it goes again, y'all. These pills do not help you lose weight. It helps you manage your weight, okay? So many people, y'all y'all looking for like products to help you lose the weight fast, baby. No, I take products that help me manage my weight. So the days when a girl feel like she want to eat it up. Got that. All right, the last one I take is a probiotic. And it's cultural, women's balance, healthy balance. And my doctor preferred these for me. And I've been taking it. And long as the coochie balance, I'm cool. So I haven't seen no imbalances since I started taking these. And I've been taking these for maybe about four weeks now. And I've been seeing, you know, normal down there. We all women. So we know normal discharge, normal smell. It keeps everything balanced, especially with all this that I'm taking. I need something that's going to always make sure I balance everything out. Yes. So I will leave all those details below for you to go grab your things. And once again, I'm not a professional. Almost one. But I'm not a professional. So make sure you consult with your doctor before taking these pills because sometimes you can't mix them like if you're pregnant or if you're taking other drugs and stuff like that but once again y'all get your teeny greens it's a must y'all probably can't see it because of the light but get your teeny greens it's a must add it into your daily diet and become a better version of yourself because y'all know that's what i promote so tip number one always wake up early don't sleep in because nine times ten you finna be in the house all day unless you like me and go to the gym. So what I do is wake up early, fix me some breakfast, work on some, you know, work on some work before I have time. Depending on my schedule, I'll probably go to the gym before class or after class. But today I have a lot of work to do, so I'm going to be going to the gym after class. And my class currently starts in six minutes. Keep you a bottle of water by your by your desk. And another thing that I noticed is I would literally sit in my bed and be in class all day, and that's not good. You need to separate yourself from resting and then being in class. So whenever you're in class, 
sit at your desk. I'm forcing myself to sit at my desk today because I will lay in my bed. My booty be hurting, sitting on my booty for so long. But when I'm in a chair, my booty don't hurt. My back don't hurt. So sit in the chair. And next thing is to make sure you sit with your back against the chair. And get ready to learn. Also, turn your camera on. If you turn your camera on, you're forcing yourself to look intrigued by the conversation. When I turn my camera off, I always find myself doing other stuff on Instagram, on YouTube, responding to clients, just doing everything besides listening to the work. So try to pay attention, y'all. This is a mess, but we're not going to worry about that, though. All right? So after I get out of class, I will come back with my next tip. All right, you guys, so I just got out of class, and this brings me to tip number two, which is to plan out your workouts for the week. So I want to show you guys pretty much what, how I plan on my workouts and what this looks like. So I'm going to show you guys my yeah, screen. So what I do is I basically, I'm working out five days a week. So I create day one through five. And I didn't do day five yet because I have time to figure out what I want to do for full body strength training. So that'll be pretty much three to four workouts that'll be focused on strength training, okay? So for like day one, it's gonna be a leg day with hit cardio. So I'll start off with my hit cardio warm up, and I posted this on my Instagram page. So yes, this will be my hit cardio warm up, followed by at least four to five workouts. So I started doing this volume leg day and the heavy leg day. So heavy leg day is focused on more so heavyweight, lower reps. And then this one is focused more so on low reps, higher weight. And I'm, you know, still getting in the habit of getting back into the gym. So that's why these are not as high as usual. But I kind of put a little weight, like as you can see, 15 pounds, split squats, 5 pounds, because I'm not as advanced in that, that area, okay? And so... As you can see, I split it up. So volume leg day is hit cardio with hit cardio. And then I have an upper body day with abs. And I start off with the abs as warm up. And then I have also have another upper body day with hit cardio. And so this one I usually do like 10 sprints on the treadmill. I love quick treadmill runs and super set with like 30 squat, 30 second squats. And then sometimes, like on my upper body days, I schedule these on the days where I know I have more work to do. So like on Tuesdays. And Thursdays, that's when, like on Thursday, I only, I have class from 9.30 to 2. So then after that, I'm pretty much in class all day. And then on Tuesday, right here, I have class from 12.30 to 2. And if I have a lot of work to do, I'll do it in the morning instead of in the, and then work out in the evening. So that's why I have these two days uh, designed. So the key is to kind of make, you know, figure out if you want to do a warm up. Pick maybe like one to, uh, one or four to five, six at the most on upper body days of exercise that you want to co uh, complete. Go to the gym. Remember the weights that you usually use. Like I put like 25 pounds, uh, 25 plate curl, whatever like that. And add those in there. So that way when you get to the gym, you already know exactly what you're doing. And I just noticed that designing my workout schedule around my school schedule and my daily schedule has become very helpful because you want to make sure like on a leg day, you have time to actually put in the time to be patient with your movements. You don't want to be in a rush. As far as like on the upper body day, it doesn't take me as much time to do an upper body day because it's quick. It's not It's not that long. And I'm doing either hit cardio or abs. And, you know, I try to do hit cardio two to three times out the week. So I do hit cardio on the leg day, hit cardio on the upper body day. And then on my full body strength training day, I start off with a quick hit cardio workout. So that's pretty much like my three days of hit cardio. And they, these are like small sessions of cardio. So maybe 10, 15 minutes at the most. And sometimes I can even get it lower than that with uh, intense sweat like burning sweat but the key is to like do explosive amount of movements for a shorter period of time followed by a short recovery time and just keep getting your heart rate up and slowing it down that way after you finish working out you're still burning calories okay so yeah that's the tip number two all right happy wednesday you guys and here we are with tip number three and it is to always have a calendar so i bought this calendar off amazon for very very cheap and I think it's very, very useful to, you know, seeing what you have ahead. So I pretty much go through all my syllabus and I write down everything that's due. And then the days that I plan to do something before it's due, I always like mark pink, pink highlighter for the days of things that's due. And then I also include the days that I want to do stuff ahead of time. And then they also came with cute little stickers to put like what's important to remember. 
and stuff like that so pretty much i went through all my syllabus and i wrote down everything that's due and so i planned ahead because like in college you have to read a lot it's a lot of reading and if you do plan to do all of the reading it's really good to do it ahead of time instead of like right when it's time to do it because it can become overwhelming like you probably be looking at reading like 20 to 30 pages per class so what i do is Either I'm going to plan to read two days in advance that the reading is due for the class or I'll read the day before depending on my schedule. And then say, for instance, like for one of my classes, the work is due on Friday, but I'm going to do the work on Thursday and then read for next week's class, which is on Monday on that Friday. OK, so it's just a way to like see see ahead see what you have to do and see like plans. You know, if you want to make plans for the future, like, OK, maybe I want to go hang out this weekend. OK. Push everything forward so that you have everything due before the weekend. So then when the weekend comes, you can pop out and you got to worry about doing your homework. All right. So, yeah. Tip number three, always have your calendar. Write things down. And this can also be for like things as far as like content wise, things that you want to put out, things that you want to do. You say, okay, I'm going to work out Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. Try to make small goals. And you can also put your small goals on this calendar. So, yes. Go to Amazon and purchase your calendar and write these things out. It's really good to see what you have planned. It's really good to see, like, what's in the future, what's due, what you got to do. And that way, you know what you got to do. And one quote that I really like is, if you... Let me get it right because it's confusing. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And who want to do that? Not me. And not you. So, yeah, write this tip down and get your calendar. Basically. All right, you guys. Happy Thursday. Your girl waving at 160.6. And as you can see, the skin has cleared up. So, that's a plus plus. And here I come with tip number four, which is to plan out your eating. If you're a person like me, if I wait to the last minute to decide what I'm going to eat, that don't turn out too well. I will go for the quickest, unhealthiest, high-calorie idea that I can. But if you sit down and take the time out to get on my fitness pal, because that's what I use, and plan out your eating, that way you know you're hitting your protein, girl. Uh, you're hitting your protein goal. You're getting your daily fiber. You're taking in those carbs, taking in those healthy fats. And then when it's time to do what you got to do and get up, you already know what you're going to eat. You know, already know you can kind of frame you know get your mind framed around the time that you're going to eat and then it makes it easier for yourself so that you're not sitting there waiting till the last minute and going to buy you a high spicy from mcdonald's or three piece from canes we don't need that baby so go ahead meal prep if that's what you gotta do write down what you're gonna eat so then when the day come you ready to tackle it ready to eat and fuel your body okay all right you guys so i'm looking pretty rough because i just left the gym but it's Friday, your girl waiting at 161 this morning. So roughly I gained about one pound this week. And y'all know fluctuations come from anything. So I'm not going to beat myself up about it. And you watch my video that gave you five tips on how to start your weight loss journey. It's making a commitment. Because it's weeks like this where you don't, when you get on the scale and you don't see the results that you want to see on the scale. That's why you cannot let the, the scale determine your success and your progress. Only use it as a marker. But with that being said, next week is going to be better. And if, and if long as I'm steady keeping to my same routines, then who gives a damn what the scales say, y'all? <laughs> That's how I be feeling sometimes. What that scale? But anyways, you guys, so my tip five for this week is to always practice self-care. Whenever you feel like you're overwhelmed or you feel like you need a rest, take that risk like it's very essential that you keep your mental health just as good as your physical health because mental health can take an emotional toll on you like i've had times where i would literally sit at the computer all day every day just in school not taking breaks and then i realized like i get to the point where i can't just do anything so that in the long run it affects me because i'm not being the best version of myself and y'all know that's what i promote being the best version of yourself so do that self-care like me my favorite form of self-care is when it's time for me to eat lunch, I don't look at no schoolwork, but I turn on that criminal minds. I watch Derek Morgan and read, and I keep my mind clear because that's just a break away from all the school, all the things that just living your daily life and being the best version of yourself, baby, that can get tiring. So with that being said, that concludes this week's vlog, and I hope this video was very helpful. And make sure you tune in to next week's vlog because I have a challenge for myself, and I hope y'all ready to see me struggle through this. So with that being said, turn on my post notifications so you won't miss the next vlog update. And with that being said, have a great weekend, you guys.